Hello everybody and welcome to my house videos. Today I'd like to show you a house that actually wasn't initially done by me in SketchUp. Well, like I said, this wasn't initially done by me. This is a guy, a friend's house, well not really a friend, just a guy's house from the warehouse whom I downloaded. First take a look, um, it's just a Victorian house. No, it, um, this is what the interior looks like. Yeah. Chimneys seem to be kind of randomly placed. Um, now, not to say it's a bad model. I mean, it's a real nice model to look at. Um, that's why I, um, the next part of this video will actually show how I what I've done to it. Is okay. You see this. And these nice kind of windows here. Nice. Porch actually was nice, but, um. And want to see what I did to it? I have to download my version. See where it says Paul Wall? Those are all mine. Whichever ones say Paul Wall are mine. This is how I changed it. Guess we'll put it closer so we can compare and contrast. Okay, so what I did was I actually kept the overall design intact. Remove this ambiguous chimney and did a few other things like clean up the facade and added a lot of more details I mean look at his bracket versus mine not to say mine is actually better but um, I actually like the house so much that I felt that I needed to needed to do something with it that I like because if you look in my windows, you can actually see something going on. And when you look in these windows, you see gray. You go inside and you see this. Mine. You go inside and see this. Oh yeah. And you know, you see this window box here makes for a nice little seat. Cushion. And the waste coating actually turned out real nice. Doors. And I mean, you can see like how I really redid the porch. And the stairs. Versus his porch and stairs. Now, but if you look at the, on the bottom right. You see all the sizes are actually still the same. And you know, you, you just have to look here. This chimney here, actually, we, I kept that and I just did a few things with it. In general, I actually kept this in the back, and this dormer here. Shed roof. This here was ambiguous, so as you can see, I removed it on my model. I mean, this actually gave the model a lot more character, but um, I couldn't see where to place it, really. So I removed it all together. That window there usually indicates that that's where the stairs are, but it seemed ambiguous, so I moved it. I moved the stairs up to the up into the entrance front foyer. I didn't know what to do with these windows here, so as you can see, I just put my own windows here. Now, however, the biggest change of all in which you already see is mine has the interior and his doesn't. Because, I mean, I think the challenge was like to, you know, see how best you can place an interior. And I did what I could to make mine look more like an older house's interior. So 
So obviously you come in those big doors there. Entrance hall. A little small, but I mean, um, thing would be the code. It would be like the living room slash parlor kind of room. In here would be both sitting and dining. Sorry. Rooms are tight. Sitting slash dining room, formal dining. You go in here. Well, that obviously leads to the back to the hallway. Closet, coat closet in here under the stairs. Kitchen in here, and other things in there. However, the kitchen doesn't isn't really the old world charm. I actually re I actually made it into like a modern kitchen. Wolf appliances. And as you can see, this great this grill here, this um, tile work here, it's actually up against that old chimney. Really gives it that nice old charm to it. Kitchen sink. More cabinets. And actually right here in the middle, right about here, is where you'd put a round table with four chairs. And there is to the basement and out the other back door. There is the back stairs, the servant staircase up to the second floor. Pantry in here. Powder room in here. Front hallway. We'll go to the front hallway. Now we'll go up the stairs, which we're going to see this nice atrium hallway, vaulted ceiling. Now the reason for the vaulted ceiling is just because that window is high. It's a beautiful gothic window, and that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to download the house so badly. I mean, his design with that gothic window is really cool. Bedroom, bathroom. Bedroom. We'll go in the bedroom. One of the bedrooms. As you can see, there's that dormer again. And there will be two closets, one on each side of the door of this dormer. Another bedroom. Similar concept, and another closet, only with another closet. Bathroom we'll see in the floor plan in just a minute. Here's the back bedroom. This hallway goes all the way down here to these stairs that go, as you can see here, that actually lead back down to the kitchen. We'll see this window here in the back. See, I tried to actually keep the ambience of the original architecture because it's cool. And yes, as you see it, going back down in here to the kitchen. Which the kitchen has its own back door. Own back porch. Here's the cellar hatch. However, as you can see in this door here, there are stairs that would be going down into the basement under the servant staircase. Oh, and another th that actually makes for another thing I added were these basement windows. That's how his did it. But yeah, and I actually designed the interior myself, so... So let's take my roof off. See, that's what these rooms look like on the inside. Bathroom, closets. Try my best because I had to make the best use of space. Everything is interlocking. Everything.
because someone had asked me um, to make an interior for the for the house because um, they saw me using they saw me looking at this model and like they couldn't bet that I could make like a good interior for it just because of how it was so I don't know I mean I'll leave it to the comment section below tell me if I did good because I mean here are the three bedrooms, there's the bathroom now if you're going to ask me for in-suite bathrooms um, I have made and tried to get it to look more like an old, older looking house and also there really wasn't much room per se for the actual for an in-suite so that's just a little my little thing there however there is a powder room pantry and you see where all the doors go closet here window seat metal so yeah and here are the front doors opening and closing well you can't actually open them in this but Oh well, oh well, oh well. Basement stairs there. And I'll show you where I derived this model from. This one came from Paul Wall. I made it I made it into my own. This one here came from a guy by the that goes by the screen name. Capital B R M C T. I think the guy's from Connecticut. B R M C T. I think it's B M R C T. Sorry. And I was right. C B M R C T. There we go. Um, Torian. And there it is, the green Victorian house. And that's his model. And then there's mine. But he is the original model maker. So I give him full credit. And I mean, you know, it's okay to use other people's models as long as you make your changes to them and um, give the original owner credit. That is just perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's how the warehouse works. How anything works. If you use someone else's source, you always let them, you always let everyone know that it, it's not originally yours, but what you did was you altered it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. We really appreciate it. Alright, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and there will be a lot more to come. Alright, bye-bye.